Hi everybody, uh, Monday afternoon coming up on 2 o'clock. I feel like it's a really mellow weather day right after the weekend, a couple of days of, of going back really to last Friday and trying to figure out how much snow would come down. If you haven't heard officially, the record book for PDX put a tenth of an inch, basically a dusting of snow in the record book. That's measurable, first measurable snowfall of the season. And really from Longview, um, Kelso, down the I-5 corridor into Vancouver, into Portland, it was basically a dusting to a half of an inch on average. A few spots at lower elevation said we had an inch. And by the time you got down to Salem, it was two, three, four degrees warmer down there. And all the reports I have out of Marion County was, yeah, it was snowing. But it was also 36 degrees most of the day. Nothing really ever stuck down that direction. Uh, chilly day out there this afternoon. Beautiful sunshine. Here's my uh, metro page on my weather site, portlandweather.com. Look at, look at Portland. If you don't live in Portland, you don't have this probably. That's gorgeous sunshine, the Tilcom Crossing from the Portland Spirit. Uh, the same page. Still some fog down in the Salem area. 37 at the airport at McNary Field. Portland is at 43 clear over the Columbia River in Vancouver, but then you get just north and, and there's cloud cover to be found. So it's really a variance. Look at the fog, Willamette Valley Vineyards, the camera there, but Camas Meadows is nice and clear. That camera is not working, remember, Domain Serene Winery, trying to get that fixed. Some beautiful gorge shots. Again, we still have uh, the beautiful snow out in the, uh, out in the gorge. This is Elkbridge Golf Course uh, in Carson. These live cameras are on the app and also on my, uh, on my weather set, which I'm showing you now. PortlandWeather.com. So, you know, we start at noon. It was still cloudy um, for parts of Clark County up into Cowles County. And then it was cloudy just south of Portland. That was a bit of an east wind, the 15 miles per hour coming out of the gorge and basically clearing the low clouds near the Columbia River in downtown Portland. We are seeing some clearing slowly work more south towards Salem. And it has cleared up in the Kelso Longview area. But it really makes me wonder with um, fog a good bet overnight tonight. I really feel like there's a high chance that we won't clear out tomorrow. And if we don't on Tuesday, it's really going to be chilly. A couple quick reminders. Again, the beautiful cameras out in the gorge. If you scroll down here, there are travel cameras. So if you're wondering, go to my gorge page. If you're getting ready to travel uh, on I-84 out into the gorge. Right now, the highway's in pretty good shape on Hood River. So that's the live uh, travel camera there. Um, and then, of course, we also have the... Uh, as you realize, I'm, I'm sure the live cameras that show the coast range um, on the coast page and also the live cameras on my Mount Hood page that will show you what's going on up in the Cascades. So don't forget, lots of great tools if you're traveling up into the high country or out into the gorge on my weather side. Well, I have 46 for this afternoon. I don't think we're going to make it that warm. But hopefully we'll at least get up to 44 in, in Portland. So still a good forecast. Tomorrow, if we fail to clear after morning fog, we may not make it to 40, or making it to 40 would be a tall order. I have 34 in the city. I might lower that to 32. It was 30 out at the airport PDX this morning, and other areas were in the upper 20s. So I really feel like we're going to be back down there freezing tomorrow morning. However, we've had all day today for those roads to dry out. So we had a lot of icy spots reported this morning. There were some accidents likely because of that. Uh, expecting drier road rates tomorrow morning. But with the fog, that's an issue. And then a better chance of the fog clearing out on Wednesday. Maybe we'll get up to 46. And then we go rain, 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 and showers. <laughs> so the next weather system up is Friday morning. Now, behind that, let me grab my notes. Behind that system on uh, Friday, I think the snow level goes down to about 2,000 or 1,500 feet, excuse me, behind the system on Thursday. Then Friday, it's occasional shots of rain. Then there's a system that comes in Friday night and Saturday morning. And then Saturdays today, the maybe snow levels go back down to about 1,200 feet. Um, right now, models show the system on Thursday is about a half of an inch. This is showery weather. The system on Friday is another half of an inch of rain or so. And then showers on Sunday. The next system comes in on Monday, and that would be rain. These are below normal temperatures for this time of the year, but certainly more typical weather. Uh, to what we would expect this time of the year. Okay, I really appreciate you following my forecast. I, I, if you live in an area that you don't feel like I mentioned or adequately covered, just send me a message here on my YouTube page and I'll read that and get that information. It's great feedback for me. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for subscribing. Again, my weather site's portlandweather.com and I will talk to you soon.